In this video, I am going to show you two Zoom presentation tips which every presenter must know. The first one is how to use a clean background in a Zoom meeting. Here are few examples. The first example, the second one and here is another one. And the second tip is how to make a presentation in a Zoom meeting when you are using PowerPoint presentation as your background just like this one where I am using PowerPoint slides as my background and I am presenting something in a Zoom meeting. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about online educational technology tools available for students and teachers and some of the subjects which I teach. If you are interested in any of these topics, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel, normally every Tuesday and Friday. If you want to put a virtual background during a Zoom video conference, my recommendation is that you prepare it in a professional way. Now to create a professional quality background for your Zoom meeting, you should create an account with canva.com. It is absolutely free and I'm using this website for my graphic designing needs for last five years. Once you have logged in, you click on create a design and you select 1920 as width and 1080 as the height and select pixel in the third column because there are some other millimeter and inches are also available. Then you click create new design. You will get this blank canvas and now you click on these backgrounds and there are many backgrounds available. You can select any of these. Just click on few and see if you like any of those plain or embossed type backgrounds. There are some images as well and if you see this Canva written, it means that this design is not free and you might have to pay $1 when you try to download this. But there are some very cool background designs available for free. So I scroll down and let's say I want to use this background which might not be a suitable background for an office presentation but it is a very cool background. So let's use this. Now I also want to put my name and designation on lower left corner. To do that, I click on text and I select any of these texts. And normally when you select any text, there are few blocks of text grouped together. Therefore, you have to click on ungroup and then click outside once and then you will be able to select all these and you can delete all the unwanted groups and keep which you want. Now I want this design and now I can type my name here. I can change the font if I want by clicking in this area. There are a lot of fonts available. I can change the font size to a smaller font or I can simply drag it like this from the corner, lower right corner and the size will start increasing. When I'm happy with the size, I can drag this and place it where I want. Now I can copy this and for my designation, I want to use, let's say another font. So I type my designation and again, I can drag it and decrease the font size like so and I can drag it and place it there. Once you are happy with your background, then you click on this download and make sure PNG is selected. Then you click on download and this is my backgrounds folder and I can save it as BG1. Now assume that you want to try one or two more. So these are some of my recently used backgrounds. So I can click on this. My background will change. So let us assume I want to change the color of the text. I select the text, click on this A and then select a color. Let us change this to black as well. And now my second background is ready. So I click on download. And let us save this as background 2. Now I can close this and I have these two backgrounds in my computer drive. Now I start a Zoom meeting. And now I have started a Zoom meeting. And now here is the important point. If you want to have a clean background, a professional quality background, it is essential that you put a green cloth behind you. So as you can see that there is a green cloth behind me at the moment and only then I can put a good quality background. So this is a little bit of thing you have to do. 
otherwise your background will not be perfect. And now I click on this arrow and change virtual background. And if you are not using any background, this none will be selected. You click on this plus and add image. And now I select uh, this folder and I select my background, the first one. And now I can close this. And as you can see that this background does not have any noise in it. It is 100% perfect. You might want to adjust the size of the text depending on your requirement. But other than that, it is perfectly fine. So let us try the second one as well. So this is our second background. So this is how you change the background in a Zoom meeting. And now let me show you how to show your PowerPoint presentation as a background when you are presenting. To do that, you click on share screen and click on advanced. And then there is a new option provided by Zoom, PowerPoint as a virtual background. I click on that and then I click on share. And now I have selected this PowerPoint presentation. I click on that and I click open. And now as you can see, that my image is on the lower right corner by default. I can click on that. I can move it up or anywhere I want. And I can also resize this if I want to have a bigger or smaller size. And then I can place it anywhere and I can start presenting. There is an arrow here. I can change my slides as well. As you can see that my slides are changing now. And if I click on these three dots, I can split video from the PowerPoint. If I click on that, my image will be gone. For example, if you have something to show behind your image, you can do that. To get it back, I can click on this again and my image will come here. So this is the easiest way to present a PowerPoint presentation in a Zoom meeting. So these were my two Zoom presentation tips for you. In particular, if you are a regular presenter in a Zoom meeting, I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.